Okay, the challenge was to uh, get the mini wheels and tyres to actually keep air inside them. So I believe I found a solution that works, no pun intended. If you notice the difference between the rims here, where the bead touches, and here, what I've got is this stuff, bead sealer and it is utterly disgusting but that's probably why it works so well look at that way so basically all you do is you just load your brush appropriately and you bodge it on like this make sure it's on somewhere where these spills won't matter you can see it's all gloopy and sticky don't apply too much pressure might be worthwhile wire brushing the rims where the bead sits before you actually do this but I'm in too much of a rush to do that but they don't look that pitted and just what I did was I put one coat on and waited until it went tacky rather than gloopy and then put another coat on and based on the fact that the first wheel that we did has now held its air for four days this seems to work it won't work if the um, wheel itself is porous and also if you use steel valves like I do there make sure that the rubber in here hasn't perished because no manner of work on the rim is going to stop that leaking okay and that's it so let's hope that that um, Fix the, fixes the uh, leaky hollow wheel, so I guess so. Thank you very much, eBay and Tech Bead Sealer, and my Kirkland's gloves, and it not raining inside my car. So there we go. Uh,